Hey, I'm Lorelai, registered dietitian nutritionist. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, we are going to be conducting an experiment never before done in this kitchen. We are going to explore the annals of vegetarian nutrition. We are going to plunge the depths of the tropics to come up with materials to create new textures and new flavors, unseen, untested, untried at least by me. Joe Gore? Yes, Dr. Laura Lionstein. Actually, I'm, I'm an RD, I'm not a doctor. Yes, master. Yeah, actually I have a, a master's in nutrition. Did you bring the specimen? Yes, master. All right, please bring it. I have the brain of the vegetable. It's a jackfruit, Joe Gore. I think its name said Jack. Its last name may have been Fruit. It's a jackfruit. Oh, Joe Gore. Yes, Master. Look at this beauty. It's spiky. It sure is. It what are we going to do to it, Master? We are going to transform it. Yes. Into. Yes. Meat. Yes. Substitute. What? Well, not really meat because it's a fruit, but we can make but it. But it will taste like meat. It will taste like meat. Me. <sighs> it might, although we'll see. We'll try. We're experimenting again, so we're not sure exactly what's going to happen. Shall we cut it open? Oh, yes. Let's expose the brains. I'll stand back. Ah. I'm really sure where to start. Are At you... the spine. Cut off the spine. Okay. Uh, how do I even know if this is ripe? I don't know, Master. You are the doctor. It's got some brown spots. I think this is old. But this is really lopsided. Joe Gore. Joe Gore do his best. Is this a normal jackfruit? It's a little abnormal, but we're gonna see what happens if we cut into it. All right, let's give it a try. I don't know where to cut first. Yes. I don't know. You could do it, Master. Bravery, lead on. Ow! That was me. Oh, it actually cuts pretty easily. It's yellow inside. Yes, Master, cut. Ugh. Cut. Cut. It's actually a lot of work. Do you want to help me? I am helping by cheering you on. Go. Okay. Go. <laughs> oh, look. Awesome. Look, look. These are the little uh, arils, that's what they're called. I think this is actually a pretty ripe jackfruit from what I can tell just from the color. Let's go ahead and pull some of these arils out and see what they taste like. Wanna try some? No, oh, Yes, you do. No. Yes. Don't make Joe Gore mm. eat the brain. <laughs> it's actually a fruit, it grows from a tree, it's from the tropics, it's okay to eat. We're gonna taste it. Don't make Joe Gore taste it. Come on, Joe Gore, be a sport. <laughs> It's not that bad. <laughs> it's like a mild mingo. Uh -huh. It's pretty ripe. But it if is you very say mild. So, master. It's very mild. We got to try to get this whole thing cut up. You want to help me cut? Arg! Arg! My hump. Arg! Your <laughs> that hump is going to be an excuse for a while, isn't it? Yes, master! Yes! I heard we should cover the surface with like paper or something because it's gonna get sticky, but I forgot to do that. Should I flip the switch? Keep the lights on. I don't want to cut with the in the dark. It's a lot of non-fruit stuff in there. This is the core. There's all this sap coming out of here, so that's why you would maybe want some paper. Put down the paper, Jogor! Yes! Master, where is the paper? Ah, yes! Yes! Thunder! <laughs> the storm! Right. Quickly before the lightning goes! If you stop moving it, it'll be quiet. Put this here! Put this here! Careful. There's gonna be a lot of carving to do here, so there's a lot to get out of here. Sticky! What have you done to our knives? <laughs> You get to wash the dishes tonight. You're a mad nutritionist. <laughs> I'm not mad. I'm excited. All right. Look at all these little pink, yellow, orange fruits. But all this stuff 
stuff in here. I don't think we can really eat that. I don't know. I have read that you can eat, that there's a lot that you can eat. I don't know which is which. <laughs> Perhaps we should have done more prep, master. <laughs> I did a fair amount of prep. Some of the work has to be done in the kitchen lab. <laughs> Let's explore. Good. Jo Let's make this a Joko true experiment. Jogor is going to go back to the cellar, master. <laughs> Man, Jogor, you're my tester. Mm. You want to mm. eat some of this core? Mm. No. <laughs> I tried the fruit. Oh. Jogor going. Oh my gosh. Urgh. Ooh, I found a seed. Ooh, look at these seeds, they're so big. I heard you can cook or use, do something to make these seeds edible. So we'll save the seeds. My hands are so sticky. Core removal. I've heard you can eat the core, but um, we'll find out, we will discover. I've seen these cut in the store before and they've always been really yellow. This is decidedly white and orange. I know we can eat these bits. They look like apricots. The question is, which part becomes the meat? Is it the flesh? Is it the core? Or is it all these little husky bits that are very tender? There are like sinewy tendrils. It would seem that these might be meaty, but we'll have to see what happens when we try to cook them. I've also heard that you can take portions of this and boil it to prepare them before trying to do anything else. So we may try that with a portion as well. This is an experiment that could take days. This might be a long experiment. Oh, the carnage. This has been a most interesting dissection. The jackfruit has revealed to me its seeds along with its secrets. I've collected arrows, which will just be eaten as fruit, or I might, you know, I might put them in a smoothie. That actually might be kind of good. Probably gonna try to roast up the seeds. Uh, my hands are gonna be sticky for days along with this knife. Oh my God, this is so sticky. If you have a latex allergy, you would probably want to stay away from cutting a fresh jackfruit because that sap in there um, might be an allergen. I have boiled some of the tendrils and the core that separated away from the main flesh of our jackfruit. Is it possible that this could be where we could find our meat substitute? More experimenting. <laughs> the texture seems very similar to a fall apart meat. Flavor is non-existent. Potential? I have read that this core is edible. I don't know if it is palatable. Hmm, interesting. Tender. Just mimic meat. Well, this core seems like it might be too tough to eat. Oh, yes. It's boiled bits. Oh, they have promise. To the stove.
Where's the discovery? Have you transformed fruit into meat? Substitute. I have had the breakthrough that I was hoping for. It seems very hot, Master. <laughs> it is hot, Jogor. So blow on it first. All right, Master. <laughs> Is it going to explode in Jogor's belly? I can't see any reason why it possibly would. Is it going to put spores into my brain like beets? It's good, Master. <laughs> it's good, like pulled pork. <laughs> I know! <laughs> You created pulled pork! Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, it actually is really good! Oh, oh, I'm so surprised and relieved! So, not the fruit part, but the fibril part. Boil it, and then you can use it in a sauce. I just made up my own crazy barbecue sauce, but use one that you trust. It's a mad sauce for a mad nutritionist. It's a mad, mad world of meat! The texture is really good. Substitute. The nutritional value is not comparable to meat. So although you can get a similar meat taste and flavor from something like this, you are not going to get the same protein quality. However, fruits and vegetables have fiber and other nutrients. So Joe is... Gore bored. <sighs> Joe Gore could stand to learn a thing or two. Mmm. Now we've got three different things. Pulled pork, fake pulled pork from the fibrils and a little bit of the core. We have the fruit and I am roasting the seeds, which we shall also enjoy. Woohoo! So much from one jackfruit. Soft like a chestnut. Wow! This is clearly ripe. This flesh is bright orange. It reminds me a lot of an apricot, which means that there are carotenoids in here, which are antioxidants, so healthy. Jackfruit also contains things like vitamin C, potassium, and fiber, and it's got some B vitamins in there as well. In addition to looking kind of like an apricot, it also tastes that way to me. So it's mild and has a kind of, not a super sweet flavor, but it reminds me of like apricot or papaya. It's nice. It's a little different, something a little unique. I'll get it from the cellar. Perfect. All right, hurry on up because we're still rolling. Okay. My hump stops okay. me from helping. Oh my, like, really? Yes. <laughs> Did you have enough calcium as a child? What's calcium? Yeah. Jogar's getting warm in this lab, <laughs> master. Oh, poor Jogar.